Hey there, my name is Faith Hunter and I'm here at Eckhart Yoga. I'm excited because I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite postures, Sai Plank, Vastis Asana. Now the reason this posture is so fun and exciting and the reason that I love it so much is because it's so much freedom, expansiveness, and openness in the pose. When you learn how to properly do it and take some of that weight out of your arms, you have the freedom to do whatever you want and have fun with the posture. So starting with the fundamentals, we know it's on the side, so we're actually going to be on one hand. So we're going to come onto our plank pose. So this is kind of where we start, and just a basic plank. And then you're going to slowly begin to shift over. Now, for newbies, I usually tell them to drop their bottom knee and bring the knee right underneath the hip. And this is a very simple, basic movement, right? So right knee stacked right under right hip, right wrist comes slightly under right shoulder, left leg is supporting you. Perfect option, draw your belly in, reach your left arm up. Now, kind of a second stage to this as we move into our full expression of our basic side plank. Then you start to roll over to your side. Now, this is where I'm going to stop. This is what's going to happen. So many people, when they take their side plank, they end up hanging out on the outer edge of the foot. So if you notice, it's that pinky side, and most people are hanging out and they're flexing their feet. And this is okay. But what I find when people do this, and even when I do this in the posture, I feel so much pressure and way too much weight in my wrist and in my shoulders. And so you really don't want to put all of that pressure in those joints. So the way that you start to shift that weight is actually begin to take the outer edge of your foot and then begin to, so I'm going to step my other foot behind me. What you're going to do is start to press down into the sole of the bottom foot, the base foot. So instead of hanging out on the outer edge, you're going to begin to utilize the entire sole of the foot. Now what you want to feel is not only the pressing of that foot into the floor, but also you want to feel a lift of the hips, which will in turn take some of the weight out of your wrist and your shoulder. So here we go again. We're in our side plank, or we're in our regular plank, right? And we're gonna roll over to the right palm and the right foot. And instead of hanging out on the outer edge, I'm gonna start to press into the sole of my foot. Now this will lift my hips, my belly's drawing in, and I'm coming out of my wrist and my shoulders, and I'm able to hang out here all day long, right? And so when you're in this pose, because you are pressing, you're able to also now lift that top leg, maybe extend it up, Maybe find a little flip dog, a little playfulness, a little openness, and a little freedom. So that's my little trick with side plank. Instead of hanging out on the outer edge, I use my whole foot, and I'm able to like lift and lift and lift and open up. So hope you guys like that little tip with the variation of side plank. And again, my name is Faith Hunter. I'm here at Eckhart Yoga. If you want to play around with me a little bit more and take some of my practices, check me out at EckhartYoga.com. And also go over and visit my YouTube page, Faith Hunter. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.